Hello and thank you for joining us today. In this time that we've been in, I think most of us to varying degrees have had days of feeling overwhelmed and anxious as the waves of reports come from different sources. Coming up every day there's, there's something new to read, new numbers to look at. But I want to start by reading a scripture in Matthew 8.23. Then he got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Suddenly a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat, but Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up, rebuked the storm and the waves, and it was completely calm. So Jesus and his disciples get into a boat, and then this violent storm arises. And the Bible said it was fierce, so much so that the waves not only rocked the boat, but they swept right over it. I've been in a boat when even a moderate amount of rough has caused the boat to feel very unsteady. And we've experienced many days recently that I think have felt unsteady. So I cannot imagine what the disciples felt like when the waves swept right over the boat. And yet we find Jesus sleeping at the time that the storm arose. And he never changed his position of rest to one of fear. He didn't rise up in panic. The only action we see from him is a response to his disciples' panic when he was woken up by them, and then his reaction to the storm. He addressed their lack of faith in him to protect them, and then he took authority over the storm, and immediately there was peace and calm. And Jesus speaks peace to the turmoil. So I want to remind us today that there are no storms in our lives, including this pandemic, that are greater than he who is in us. There is no situation you may be facing where you cannot experience the supernatural peace of God. Jesus wasn't in denial or even unaware of the storm. And as believers, I think we should be informed. But he was so sure of his father's love and the authority that he had been given that it didn't cause fear to dominate. So if you're facing a storm or struggling with anxiety in this crisis, I want to say to you, do not allow the enemy to remove you from your place of rest and faith in your Prince of Peace. It might even feel some days like the waves are crashing over you. But I want to remind you that you have the same authority to command peace that Jesus has. And no matter what storms you may be facing, the peace of heaven remains your portion. John 14, 27 says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So I want to remind you again, you are his beloved. He watches over you. He protects you in the middle of any storm, no matter how great. In closing, if you're struggling with a lack of peace or anxiety, I would like to pray for you right now. And I want to release the Lord's peace over you because the storm is never greater than the one who is in you. So let's pray together. Father, we just thank you that even when the waves feel like they're sweeping right over us, Father, even in in the days, Lord, that, that feel unsteady, We thank you, Lord, that peace is our portion. Father, peace is our inheritance. And right now, Lord, I just speak calm. I speak peace, Lord, to any storms, Father, that are internally going on, Lord. I speak peace to any situations in homes that might be listening. Father, we thank you, Lord, that greater is he that is in us, our Prince of Peace, than anything on the outside. So we receive your peace, Lord. We choose to walk in your peace. And Father, we thank you that you've given us authority to speak peace to any storm. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day.